the guys Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you so much for watching this video. Today I've got a very exciting Cinema 4D tutorial uh, to release to you guys. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Displacer. Um, I actually came across this when I was looking at a plugin in Cinema 4D and it kind of, it, the, the demo uh, towards it and like the preview, it had this sphere and it was it was all jagged on the top and it kind of looked quite nice and um, I had my own go actually recreating this. Uh, as you see here, this is actually my Facebook page. So um, I often uh, a lot of projects I work on, or just random things often upload here. And this was one of them. And you see the top of the sphere is it's kind of like a mountain, well not a mountain range, you know. Uh, it's all jagged at the top, and you can pretty much do uh, this on anything. This is using the displacer. Um, I think it looks best on a sphere. Uh, you can do it with text or whatever. Um, but I think that's all talk. I think we'll get to it now. Uh, Cinema 4D. And so we're just going to start off and obviously I'm going to be working on a sphere. Uh, you can add in text that is exactly the same process. You don't need to make it editable so you don't need to worry about all of that. Um, so once you've got the sphere in, yeah, all you want to do is literally uh, go into the displacer, uh, wrong tab, uh, effects and displacer and simply drag the displacer as a child of the sphere like so. And now on the displace, uh, obviously nothing will happen immediately because uh, you need to uh, choose a say, shader. This is kind of going to be the effect that's actually created. Uh, so we need to go to uh, shader and we need to add a noise. Um, noise is often added in bump to give it a bit more uh, oomph and depth. Uh, but here it's used to kind of shrivel up, as you see immediately. Uh, we've kind of got a distorted sphere, like a rock kind of, if you have the right texture, it could kind of pull it off. And that's all there. So once you've got that, so I'll tell you what, I'm going to move it up a little bit and I'm going to make a floor like so. Set up the scene and once the displace is in. Um, now, literally, this is how you use a displace you drag it as a child. Uh, you can do many different effects. Uh, I'm going to be working on this kind of effect that we created here. Uh, so, to do this uh, under fall off, if you go to shape and you go to box uh, and kind of stretch out the box just so it kind of fills out the sphere like so. And then also if you go to object and strength, if you increase the strength, uh, you see that weird things seem to happen, uh, as well as if you change the height, you've got a very weird um, kind of abstract shape to happen. Uh, also this is actually a very good way uh, to create them quick abstract shapes. Uh, also if you use this to text as well, uh, you can kind of keyframe it, and so it kind of comes into the abstract mesh or whatever, and it kind of evolves into the text. That's a good way there, a uh, nice effect. And I haven't really been used, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, so back to the displacer, uh, we obviously don't want it that strong, so tone down the strength and the height. And uh, we can implode and out, explode. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we're going to drag the, uh, the box to the top, like so, as you only want it to uh, affect the top of the sphere. Uh, this can work with whatever, you can drag it to the bottom of the sphere, should you wish. Uh, I'm going to drag it to the top for the time being, like so. And uh, that's not as jagged as the one, so obviously you just need to literally play around uh, with the strength settings and the height and whatnot. And to be perfectly honest, that is it. Uh, as you see, if you render this out here, uh, it's really jagged. Uh, the ends, if you want to kind of smooth out, uh, go to hypernerbs and drag the sphere as a child of the hypernerbs, like so. And again, you get a really nice effect. It's, it's a weird effect. It kind of makes, can't really describe it, uh, but this kind of rounds off the edges, makes it smooth, uh, so it gets rid of the jagged. If you want them in the middle, uh, change the subdivision editor, uh, for example, if you change it to 1, uh, it'll, it'll, it'll be like jagged like it just was, and you can edit it to 5 or whatever, and it's actually just the scale of how smooth or how many segments there are. Uh, so it's on 2 and that was fine. So there we go, a uh, nice effect. Uh, so that is using the displacer. Uh, you can use it on text, as I said. Uh, Hypernerbs if you want it rounded. Uh, I'm not sure if this really tool more of a tip or whatever. Uh, but anyway, I'm going away in a few days, so I thought I'd get a video uh, or a tutorial out, uh, as I don't like to keep it over a week or whatever. Uh, so that's all from me. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you learned something. Uh, I like to see this used about in a few intros or whatever. Um, if you if you use it, send it in. Send me a message with the video attached, and I'll check it out, whatever. And um, Let's see what you guys can come up with this, and uh, yeah, uh, Linda there, thanks for watching this video, Connor Chrome Designs.
and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.